Greetings and welcome to the App Up Show for Developers. I'm your host, Bob Duffy. And I'm your co-host, Rhonda Peters. Today we have a treat for you. We're going to talk about an app from a series of apps from a developer called Lab on Laptop. And later in TweetCap, we'll be talking about two tweets. One is from the game creators, where they're talking about App Game Kit, and the other is from Netbook News, where they're discussing netbooks and how they're not dead. I know in past App Up Roundups, we typically review fun game apps, but this time I wanted to put a twist to my App Up Roundup. So today we're going to review a science app by a developer called Lab on Laptop. Don't get scared. Stay tuned. This app, I guarantee, will be worthwhile for you to take a look at it. So let's get to it. All right, let's get started. This is the density measurement screen here for the app. To the right, you see there's an object section that has three different unusually shaped objects. So you have a stone, marble, and graphite. And then to the left of that, you have a beaker filled with water and a scale. So the first thing you want to do is drag and place the object to the scale so that it can be weighed. The next thing that you want to do is record the measurement so that you won't forget what the weight was. So you go to the observation table and expand and you would write in the first box what the shape was. The object would be a stone and then record the mass of the stone which is the weight which is 0 0.44 in this case. When you're done simply click here to the little bar to go to start measuring the volume. So to measure, you would think that you would drag and drop, but you can't. So what you have to do to measure the volume is double click on the object. It is then placed on a string on a hook. To measure the volume first, you want to do the initial volume measurement and then record. So this is about 375. Of course, I've done this several times. It's hard to see, so you have to get very close. And so basically, you would type that in. So I will do that. To measure the final volume, you will simply hold down with the mouse and then take it down all the way in the water. And then you will take your reading. And the reading here is about 485. So then you will record that. Now, to get the total volume, you will simply just subtract the first volume reading from the last reading, and then you would record that here. And then to get the density, now I got to admit, I'm not good with doing calculations in my head. So I'm going to go to the left and click the calculator and move that over. And then you will put the mass divided by the volume, which is the 0.44, divided by the total volume, 110. So that would be 0 0.0040. So you would type that in here. And that's basically it. So you have your first part of the table completed with the stone. So then you move on to the next object. So how do you get to the next object? So you click on the hook to move it up. Then you double click. It goes back to the scale. And then you just drag and drop it into the stone's place. Then you go and do the marble. So you continue to do the measurement until you've completed all of the objects. And you record, and then you are done. Though this is a great app, and I really enjoy going through this experience of having this physics lab in an app type format, there were a couple of things that I would like to see added or could have been done differently. And that is adding a definition table or some type of box or menu or a mouse over on the headers to indicate what the headers really mean. Let's say it may be a first time user and they may not know what a mass object is. So maybe just defining those key terms. The next thing that I would have liked to have seen is maybe a refresh button or some additional objects that the student can look at. Maybe refresh it and if it's a student, maybe add a pencil or a toy or something that's more recognizable. And then finally, what I would have liked to see at the end was a call to action. Something to say you move on to the next screen or you know you might want to think about do this or that. A summary of key messages. What did I get from doing this measurement? You know, what was it at the end of the day that was so different with taking the measurement of a density of an irregularly shaped object as opposed to a regular shaped object? 
All in all, I think this is a great app, again, for elementary kids who are trying to learn a little bit more about science and math before getting into the next grade, or for a high school student who may be interested in learning more about physics outside of the classroom. So whatever the case may be, you should give this app a chance or share it with a friend who has a child who's interested in learning more about science and math.